Welcome! Aircast Pro turns your Dysub printer into an AirPrint compatible printer. Dysub printers offer exceptional print quality and have become the standard for photo booth and event printing. Aircast Pro is incredibly easy to use, but still delivers advanced features not found in other products. Let's jump right into the setup and features of Aircast Pro. First, let's start by turning on your Aircast Pro unit. Go to your Wi-Fi settings on your iPad or your computer and select the Aircast Pro Wi-Fi network. It may take up to 30 seconds for the network to appear. Enter the password Aircast Pro, all lowercase, in the password field. Once you are connected to the Aircast Pro network, open up a web browser and enter Aircast Pro dot local into the URL field. Some Windows computers may not recognize the Aircast Pro MDNS name. In this case, you can enter the Aircast Pro IP address instead, which is 192.168.4.1. This will bring you to the Aircast Pro landing page. Click on the administration icon to access the Aircast Pro general settings page. If this is your first time connecting to your Aircast Pro unit, you will need to activate it. Enter your name and email address to proceed. You probably want to connect to your outside Wi-Fi network with Aircast Pro. To do this, click on the Edit icon located to the right of the Ethernet and Wi-Fi status display located at the top right of the General Settings page. Choose a Wi-Fi network from the available networks list or enter an SSID into the field provided. Next, enter the password for the network. Click the Save button to save your settings. You can also use the Ethernet port to connect to your network. No additional configuration is needed when using Ethernet. Aircast Pro comes equipped with a wireless hotspot. This is what you use to connect initially to the Aircast Pro unit. Aircast Pro will use your outside Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection to access the internet automatically. You could rename the Aircast Pro network and change the default password. In the general settings page, click the edit icon located in the wireless hotspot section. This will give you editing access to the hotspot SSID and password. The MDNS name is used to make a service or device on your network easier to access by using a logical naming convention. By default, your unit uses aircastpro.local for its MDNS name. You can change this name to reflect your business or event by clicking on the MDNS edit icon and entering the discovery name you wish to use. Your time and date is determined by your region. To change the Aircast Pro local time, click the edit icon next to the date and time display. Next, choose your region from the list provided and save your selection. You can get the current version of Aircast Pro, as well as CPU, RAM, and disk usage. Click the Aircast Pro logo in the upper left side of the general settings page to show this information, click the version window to close it. Aircast Pro is specifically tailored to AirPrint enabled DMP, Mitsubishi, Symphonia, and High Tide Dice Sub printers. To configure your printer, start by connecting your printer to the Aircast Pro unit with a USB cable and turn your printer on. Click the plus button below the printers and pools list to begin. Click the continue button in the connect your printer window. This will begin the auto discovery process. Your printer should be available in the connected printers list. Select your printer from the list and then click continue. If your printer does not show in the list, check your USB connection and be sure that your printer is powered on. Aircast Pro will attempt to find the driver for your printer by selecting it automatically in the printer driver list. You can choose another driver from the list if it does not select the driver you wish to use. You can also browse all available drivers by clicking show all drivers. You can use the printer name that Aircast Pro assigns your printer or you can rename your printer in the set printer name window. Click the continue button to set your printer options. In the set options window, you can choose the option you wish to set by choosing it from the pop-up on the left. Set the option value by using the pop-up on the right. Click the finish button when done. Your printer will now show in the printers and pools window. If you wish to add another printer, 
repeat these steps. Take note that the printer setup window will add the ability to set up a printer pool if you've already set up a printer. If you want to configure another printer or add an instance of an existing printer, click the printer setup button. If you wish to create a printer pool, click the printer pool button. You must have at least one printer configured to create a printer pool. You can combine two or more printers to create a pool. This can be useful in environments that need to effectively handle high volume printing. A printer pool contains multiple printers, but appears to iOS or your computer as if it were just another printer on your network. You can add any printer to a pool. Printers can be of different makes and models. You will, however, want the printers within a pool to print the same output size. A printer pool will automatically load balance your printing, sending print requests to printers with the least amount in their queue. A printer pool will redirect jobs to active printers and avoid sending jobs to printers that have stopped or paused due to errors like running out of media. To create a printer pool, click the plus button below the printers and pools list box. Click the printer pool setup button in the next window. To add a printer to your pool, select the printer you want to add from the pop-up and then click the Add Printer button. Your printer will appear in the list box below. If you change your mind and wish to remove a printer from the pool, select the printer from the list box and click the Remove Printer button. Click the Continue button to proceed. Click the Create New Printer Pool checkbox and give your printer pool a name. Click the Finish button to save your setup. You can change your printer options or edit the printers in your pool. Editing your printer or printer pool is easy and straightforward. Select the printer or printer pool you want to edit from the printers and pools list. Click the edit button to make your changes. If you choose to edit a printer, you can change the options available to the printer. If you choose to edit a printer pool, you can add or remove printers from the pool. Subsystem controls allow you to perform two tasks, restart the printing subsystem or reset the printing subsystem. If you are experiencing issues, try restarting the printer subsystem. If restarting the printer subsystem does not fix your issue, you can reset the printer subsystem to clear more serious errors. Resetting the printer subsystem will remove all configured printers and pools as well as any queued prints, so please proceed carefully. You may wish to restrict administration access to Aircast Pro. To do this, you can set a password that will be needed when attempting to access the Aircast Pro General Settings page. Click the Password Protect Settings checkbox at the bottom of the General Settings page. Enter your choice of password and then confirm it. Click the Save button to finish. Go ahead and reload the Aircast Pro page to make sure you are asked for a password when attempting to connect. While you could pull the plug to restart or power your unit off, it's a better and safer idea to use the Power Options control instead. You can access the Power Options window by clicking the circled A in the upper right corner of the General Settings page. In the Power Options window, you can choose to restart or shut down Aircast Pro. Although Aircast Pro excels in enabling non-AirPrint printers for your iPad and iPhone, you can also share your configured printer and printer pools with your Windows, Mac, or Linux computer. Aircast Pro allows for native network sharing on all three platforms. Aircast Pro also broadcasts a standard IPP, or Internet Printing Protocol, which can be used with other devices as well. When adding an Aircast Pro printer to your computer, it's a good idea to install the native printer driver. For Windows, go to the Start menu and then choose Settings. Choose the Devices option and then choose the Printers and Scanners option. Click the Add Printer or Scanner button. It may take a few moments, but you should eventually see your Aircast Pro printer show in the list of found printers. Select the printer you wish to add and then click the Add Device button. For Mac OS, go to the Apple menu and then to System Preferences. Choose Printers and Scanners. Click the plus button below the printer list box to add a new printer. 
Aircast Pro printers should show as Bonjour printers. Select the printer you wish to add and let Mac OS choose the appropriate driver for your printer. Click the Add button to finish the process. Adding an Aircast Pro printer to a Linux system is similar to the process described for Mac OS. The particular program and interface may vary depending on your Linux distribution. You can add a printer directly through the CUPS interface as well.